Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our sweet home life. Look how pretty and blue it is today. Early spring. Had really bad storms last night. And uh, we had to go get to the, into the bathhouse to take cover. But we met some, we actually had some subscribers up here. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate all our new subscribers and uh, appreciate you for watching these videos. Yeah, we're at DeSoto State Park. It's uh, northeast Alabama, not too far from Chattanooga, just north of, uh, just in the vicinity, vicinity of Fort Payne. So it's a great campground. It's Mother Nature at its best. A lot of walking trails, a lot of people down here today, but the bad weather kind of run them off this week, but they'll be in. So the kids locally are on spring break. And show them our camp, uh, camper, Glenda. So we got I know you've seen it before, guys, but there it is. We got her back out. And they have full hookups here, even sewer. So we weren't sure if they had sewer or not, but they do. So it's a great, it's really a pretty place. Right here at the foothills of the mountains. I wanted to show them something, Glenda. Uh, come on around the back, Glenda. There's our bikes. Got the bikes out. Don't have the e-bikes out today. Come on around this back. I want to show you guys something. It's kind of important when you're camping. Full hookups, sewer, water. But, uh, this, we're in 11, camp spot 11. In the front of the trailer, it slopes up in the back. So when you're coming down here, make double sure that you bring a, a lot of stuff to put up under your camper because that side over there was had to come up with it and in the back it had to come up quite a bit too. So just want to, that's a big thing that a lot, not a lot of people tell you. These campsites are not exactly level. But all campsites, to my understanding, have 30 amp and 50 amp. Got a little light in there. All your breakers up there. It's a real nice park, guys. It's, uh, see, look at that one over there, how high it is. Mm -hmm. That's a pull-through site, but see how much higher the front is than the back. Mm -hmm. So bring your stuff to put under them, guys. Oh. So we're going to do go for a little walk, and we'll bring you along. We have a... Uh, the grills in each spot. Uh, the pad is fairly level and it has uh, gravel in it. All of them have gravel. Enough room to park your uh, two vehicles. Two vehicles up there and it's got that large picnic table, which I like. And we have a fire pit down there uh, that most of the sites have. I, yeah, most sites have a Side 11. Side 11. Site 10, really large site, nice and level. Look at the bikes over there. Now. That's a trail over there, a bicycle trail. And there's site 14, it's a big site. Show them down the other way. And those sites get larger as you go down the hill, I think. The numbers do. No, they get smaller going down the hill. Look what we see, a G.O. Pro. That has got to be the smallest RV camper I think I've ever seen. And it's a good one, guys. You can anything just about it pull that thing. Well, look what I see. Now that's a micro miniature teardrop. I like it. About anything could pull that thing. May even get that behind old Kia.
They have a zip line here at DeSoto State Park and they're starting to climb up to the top of the zip line. Do y'all like to zip line? I've never zip lined. But there they go. They're over there behind the trees. There he comes up at the top. Okay, there's the lodge. And it has the motel right here beside it. And then the back side of the motel is some more cabins, a couple of cabins. And then up in this area, they have a picnic table and they have a fire pit up here with some chairs around it. So it's really a nice area. And I believe there's some trails around here that you can hike right in this area as well. So just a lot to do, to do here. There's a little cabin over there and over here is some more of the a motel here by the lodge. Here's another cabin. This is up towards the lodge. Look at that one, an A-frame cabin. Cabin number, that's cabin number 25. If you don't have an RV and want to come stay the night, you can always rent you a cabin. Of course, you'd have to make a reservation. So come on, y'all, and check it out. Check this cabin out. It appears to be vacant, and this is cabin 12331. It's got a little rock foundation. And look over here, it's got these steps that walk down to this picnic table. Now, if you had small children, you may not want to rent this one, but it's got a little picnic table. A nice front porch with a swing and some rockers. Here's some water, I think, so let's go check it out. Well, there may be some water, but you can't see it from here, but I think on down there is a creek. But they got this neat little wall here along this ridge. And it is a cute little cabin. another uh, picture of Indian Falls here at DeToto State Park near Fort Payne. It's a beautiful park, y'all. You'll have to come check it out. It's about 50 miles south of Ch uh, Chattanooga. Uh, guys, we met a lot of people here, and, and hopefully we'll get some good subscribers. And uh, Two in particular I wanted to say thank you to was Tony and Darlene. We appreciate you for subscribing to our channel. And you, we look forward to showing you plenty of other videos. And thank each and every one of you so for subscribing. And also Josh. He subscribed Josh, too. And we yes, appreciate Josh. Josh. He sat and talked with us a long time. And we appreciate him too. So everyone that we've met on our trip, it's been a pleasure meeting you. And thank you so much for watching our videos and subscribing. And you've made our visit up here just so much more enjoyable. 
Yes. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Bye. Bye.